Okay, so now we are going to uh, put in a little bit of um, outlining. I've already done this part here, and you can see that having these nice crisp edges makes this part look even softer by comparison. So I am going to use very, very little uh, outlining on the actual um, bedding itself. Okay, mostly just on the outsides. I'm using a slightly heavier pen, this little razor point, um, because this is such a large drawing that my uh, my O5 micron is um, dying, so it's not giving me a thick enough line. So what I'm going to do is come in and only go with the very bottom, and maybe have a couple of little wrinkles, and that's about it. I'll make sure that they're, you know, kind of randomly spaced apart. On a pillow, I would do only this bottom part, maybe along the edge. Same thing here, only along the edge. And do, and the little lines going up into the pillow are for the wrinkles. Some of them longer than others. All right, maybe just a tiny bit along the top, and very little, because that's where the light is going to be hitting. Here, we're going to go along the edge of the blanket. All right, same thing here, along the edge just to reinforce that boundary. All right, now, here's where the sheets are folded over. I might even do a little bit of a wrinkle here. You can come up with some wrinkles here. And this is where you can kind of let the, the line skip. And follow along with what you've already done with the darker marker pen. All right, so this is very, again, subtle and light. And what you're going for is to make it look as random as you can. So next thing we're going to do is lay in a cast shadow coming this way. It's going to start here and it's going to continue. We're going to fill all this in under the bed. And it's going to look kind of like this. And then there will be the shadow off of the head of the bed. So all of this is going to be in shadow. And I'm reusing that same purpley gray so that I have consistency in the colors. Same thing. All right, so there you go. There's some cast shadow. The last thing we're going to do is put a little bit of um, wall color behind, and then I'll go ahead and finish up doing the outlining off camera.